and Deborah is going to lead us in our prayers. <clears throat> Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your Son, Lord Jesus, who died for us and rose from the dead. Please come into our lives by your Spirit and be with us always. We give thanks today for the life of Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, his steadfastness, loyalty and sense of duty have been a good example to many of us for most of our lives. His presence will be missed. We pray for our Queen and the Royal Family as they mourn. During these dark days, we pray for comfort and consolation for our Sovereign Queen Elizabeth as she comes to terms with the loss of her husband and consort. Dear Lord, be merciful and gracious in your love for her. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for the church, the archbishop, bishops and priests, and we ask for guidance as we explore ways to encourage people to come and enter into our churches once again. Dear Lord, as you taught your disciples to go out into the world and spread the word, so help us to find ways to reach out to those who do not know you. Heavenly Father, we pray for the Wheat Hill Benefice and for our priest, the Reverend Jane Durham, and all that she does to promote fellowship and worship. As we prepare for our annual general meeting in May, guide our thoughts and minds towards making worthy decisions so that we may continue to find ways to tell your story. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our Lord. prayer. We pray for our government and for those who govern and ask that they rule their countries with wisdom and justice. The world today is in a precarious situation and we ask for your precious powers for all those who suffer from injustice and persecution, for those embattled by conflict and violence, thinking at this moment of Myanmar, Yemen and Afghanistan. We pray for all those for whom life has little or no value, bringing to mind the gang warfare that exists in our streets and the easy use of knives for killing. Lead us all who rule to find ways to prevent this, Heavenly Father. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father of creation, we thank you for the emergence of spring. After months of dull grey clouds and dark days, the sun, the blue skies and the growth of colourful flowers and spring blossoms fills the spirit with joy and hope for the future. As we begin to step outside into the world from confinement, help us to keep our distance from those around us and respect the COVID virus that continues to invade our people. Despite the continued restrictions, we thank you for the pleasure of being able to share love and friendship with family and friends and for our ability to be able to worship in church again today. We offer prayers for all those in our benefice who are suffering from illness and loneliness. Guide us to know those who need our help and support, dear Lord, so that they may come to realise that they are not alone. We pray for our dear friend Jean Thomas who died yesterday. We commend her to your mercy, that she may rest with you in peace. 
We pray for our husband Neil and the family and ask you to give them your comfort and some more support as they mourn their loss. We pray for all those who have died, dear Lord, and commend them to your mercy. Comfort all those who mourn and help them to know of your continuous love. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We end with a deanery prayer. Gracious God, thank you for giving us one another. Help us throughout the Glastonbury Deanery to rely on your grace as we seek to continue to tell your story in our communities. Give us courage and imagination so that your life may be known to all. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, accept Happy these prayers, prayers for, for the, the sake, sake of, of your, your Son, Son, our Saviour, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. And the collect for today. Risen Christ, you filled your disciples with boldness and fresh hope. Strengthen us to proclaim your risen life and fill us with your peace to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We're going to have um, colours of day. of day dawn into the mind the sun has come up the night is behind go down in the city into the street and let's give the message to the people we meet so light up the fire and let the flame burn open the door let jesus return take seeds of his spirit shines on, it never goes down, the light of the world is risen again, the people of darkness are needing a friend, so light up the fire and let the flame burn, open the door, let Jesus return, take seeds of his spirit, let his fruit grow, tell the people of Jesus, his love show. Open your eyes, look into the sky. The darkness has come, the sun came to die. The evening draws on, the sun disappears. But Jesus is living, his spirit is near. So light up the fire. And let the flame burn, open the door, let Jesus return, take seeds of his spirit, let his fruit grow, tell the people of Jesus, let his love show, so light up the fire, and let the flame burn, open the door, let Jesus return, take seeds of his spirit, let his fruit grow.
Next Sunday, we are in Barton, St. David at half past ten, and we're in Kenton Churchyard at four o'clock for Faith and Fun, which I think is going to be focused on St. George, since it's St. George's Day on Friday. We started with the sad news of Jean Thomas's death, and we finished with some good news. Gus and Lucy are here. We are calling their bands. They are getting married. Hey. So I published the bands of marriage between Augustus William Pearson and Lucy Olivia James, both of the parish of St. Luke's Cheltenham. And Gus has a qualifying connection with St. Peter's Lidford. This is for the second time of asking. And if any of you know a reason in law why they may not marry each other, you are to declare it. Let's pray for Gus and for Lucy. Father, thank you for bringing Gus and Lucy together. We pray for them in these days of preparing for weddings, particularly at the current time. We pray that their wedding day and the celebration sometime later may be a real celebration of joy and love and that you will enable them to build their lives together on the rock who is Jesus himself. And in his name we pray. Amen. Amen. So Gus and Lucy are preparing to begin their married life. Um, we also are celebrating Stephen. Stephen and Jenny, yesterday, have been married for 50 years. So Stephen, would you like to come and join me? He didn't know we were doing this. <laughs> So Stephen, as a small token of congratulations, we have a card somewhere which Derek hopefully is about to give to Emma as she walks Emma as she walks past. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. Ooh. I hid them so effectively. I don't think I can get them out without damaging them. I had to buy the tulips because that was the only way I could get gold. <laughs> Congratulations, Stephen, from all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, it, it, it was a, a wonderful day. It really was. So let's close with the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Christ and serve Christ. In the name of Christ. Amen. But please don't all stand up and rush for the door at once. I think Stephen's going to need Stephen's going to need to show us out row by row. Oh, sorry, before we do that, Judith um, and all, we're working towards electoral rolls. So for Kenton, if you'd like to know if you're on the electoral roll, Judith's got it with her. For Lidford, if you would like to be on that electoral roll, then it's Juliet Deeney. Is that right? Um, but if you want to know more, then speak to Ralph. And Barton, it's Val Southwell Saunders. But if you want to know more, please speak to Wendy. Um, I'm King Western as well. Yeah, Judith's King Western and Kenton.